Hey, what's up, guys? Um, first of all, I wanted to uh, start off saying sorry for the lack of uploads. Um, I've been down at the lake all weekend. Um, got to the lake around like Friday night. Yeah, we got there on Friday night about 7 o'clock. And got back yesterday morning, and I was out on the lake all day on boats and drinking which didn't help the cause because made my blood really thin and I got really 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 sunburnt and I got blisters all over me and all this crap I just didn't really feel like doing anything but I um, decided to do a tutorial and uh, wanted to show everybody how to do this because most people think that you have to have um, AAE to do this but you don't you can do it in Sony Vegas so I'm going to show you how to do it um, but anyways I'll start it off with showing you, um, also put this clip, uh, I'll upload it to file front or something so you guys can practice this, um, where is it, I think it's in here, it's a, um, terminal spot for the, for the masking or whatever, so what we're going to do is go over here by Burger Town and walk up to this white wall. And then you can just like run like that, and then reload and do what el whatever else you want. I'll um, upload that clip to file front and give you guys a link for it. But anyways, what you want to do is uh, you're gonna want to start it off whatever where you wanted to do it. I'm gonna try to find a spot where it scopes in. One second. And sometimes that black, the black lines on the side go in, and then it makes it messes it all up. So I'll go right back to about there. And then you can leave it. Um, you can leave it uh, white if you want to. But I'll show you how to get all the white out of there and whatnot. First of all, you want to disable resample because that will make it look way better with the chroma keyer. And I don't like Sony Vegas 10 that much because it always puts that track motion thing on, and it leaves the leaves keyframes and it makes me angry. But anyways, um, you want to go to the chroma keyer. And then I already have a, um, a preset for it. You just put it on there. As you see, it turns it to black. Uh, you can copy down these settings right here. Uh, these are my settings that I saved. Um, first one, 0 0.393. Next one, 0 0.527. Next one, 0 0.042. Those are probably the best ones you're going to get. Um, but anyways, uh, so it looks like that, and then I'll go to the spot on the clip where you get the kill, or actually where it like shoots, right where the gun sounds. Then, oh crap, sorry. I'm not using my mouse right now, so I'm kind of all over the place. Haven't been on a computer for a while. <laughs> so, what it's going to look like is this. It's going to look like it's running with nothing there, and then it's going to scope in. I think there's a little black between there, though. Let me zoom that in more, yeah. It's probably not going to look that good because it's. You know, just quick little edit. Probably not gonna look the best, but um, yeah, that's pretty much what all you all you have to do is put that chroma keyer on there, and um, disable resample, and then you can um, do something like here. I'll see if I have any cinematics in my well, COD4 cinematics. It's from the uh, XAKN um, cinematics pack. I just downloaded it in case I needed any um, cinematics and didn't really want to uh, add in, you know, I didn't want to go on and record it or whatever, but, um, 
crap. Might have forgot how to do that. Hold on a second. I didn't really forget. I think you got to just put this one up here. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. But anyways, um, yeah, and then you can put like cinematics above it, and then it just, you know, looks like whatever, and then it just goes into the clip. But um, yeah, if you have any more questions about it, uh, just let me know in the download link for the intervention thing on, yeah, for this will be in the description. So, um, if anybody wants to comment and ask for any videos, um, just let me know. Oh, and I'm going to put a link for you guys to watch this, uh, I mean, to read this. It's, um, a bill that they're trying to pass and, um, about making copywriting stuff on YouTube a felony to where supposedly you could do five years in jail and have fines up to $2,500 to $5,000 for copyright something on YouTube. I mean, I don't understand that, but, uh, yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing YouTube. Um, I just turned 18, so I'm going to be getting a full-time job here soon. Um, probably won't be very active until MW3 comes out. But, um, yeah, uh, we'll see about what happens, but, uh, yeah, I'll render this out, and then, um, yeah, make sure to check out all the links down below, and, uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.